Tony. Okay, tell me what was happening in this video because no one can capture it better than you are the armed robber. I'm fortunate to talk to you and not him. Um, what happened? Well, once he entered the door, he had a large firearm. Very startling, kind of scary, but I've seen with his attitude and actions that I wasn't really concerned. He had a gun. Who cares what his attitude and actions yeah. were? <laughs> I mean, I would, I mean, I'm so happy that you're here to talk with us, but I would have saw the gun and thought, here, whatever's in this wallet, you can have. No? At this point, <laughs> no. I, I actually told him I have $2 left in my wallet and that's for my next beer. Oh. <laughs> Tony, how many beers had you had prior to that <laughs> to keep you calm? <laughs> because you are so calm in this video that we're looking at. I mean, as they say, you are the epitome of unbothered. Were you afraid? No, it didn't bother me at all. Were you, you weren't afraid? Not at all. In fact, when he walked around the bar, I asked him, since you're back there, give me a beer. <laughs> he laughed at me and said, get your own beer. Okay, but Tony, okay, look, you see the man, can we pull that video back up? Because okay, he has his gun, that gun, in someone's side. Then the, the I guess the short cook or someone from behind comes, does what I would have done, which was hit the floor. Um, what were you thinking here? What, look at this, look at, at that, that video, point, that person. That person is clearly terrified and they lay down for their lives. It didn't bother me much. I knew that he was only there to rob the register. If he wanted to harm somebody, he would order uh, fired shots. Okay, when you look at the video, if you had it to do again, would you handle it exactly as you did? Absolutely. <laughs> Tony, you have nerves of steel. I appreciate you sticking by. Anna Siga is a prosecutor. You are the one who showed us this video. Um, what would you have done? I would have taken all my years as a homicide prosecutor <laughs> and remembered everything that I've seen. And what I will tell everyone here, comply, comply, comply. <laughs> Tony, I'm very happy that you are here to talk to Tamara and everyone and tell us your tale. Because it is, it is people, I understand the rooting behind it. This video went viral, yeah. Tamara, because people, when they looked at it, there was applause, because everybody is tired of crime. So everyone wants to be in that position to tell the perpetrators, no, I've had enough. However, I was a homicide prosecutor in Brooklyn, just doing homicides for over 16 years. I've seen a lot, lots of armed robbery homicides. And you know what, unfortunately, lots of them start up just like this. There's one that I think of right away where the young man said to the armed robber, what are you going to do, shoot me? Yeah. Well, I shot had his family was all that was oh left as that young man lost his life. Tell me what happened to the armed robber. In this case, the armed robber was identified as 37-year-old Kevin Moore. Mm -hmm. He was arraigned. He is currently serving charges, multiple counts of armed robbery for that case. Unfortunately, in Tony's case, the other patrons inside the bar, nobody was injured. Yeah. However, let's all remember, we get that sentiment. Everyone wants to say we've had enough, but no amount of property, no cell phone, nothing is worth you risking yeah. your life. Who, uh, anybody want to comment on this one? Can we get you to stand up? What's your name? I'm Renee Sinclair. Renee, where are you from? Uh, Washington State. And what do you think about this? I think we need to stop being bullied. We need to stand up for ourselves. And like he did, he just sat there. But is there bullying and then is there putting your life in jeopardy? I mean, I guess that I totally, listen, I get we're all tired of being bullied and trolled, but he had a shotgun. He, he said, took it very good. He did. Yeah, he did. Yeah. Um, but so many people. Yeah. Well, that's what Anna Siga <laughs> was saying. No, no, no. Listen, you were saying <laughs> the point is that people are tired, but she had to prosecute a case where someone said, what are you going to do? Shoot me. And the person did. Many homicide cases. And when armed robberies, the way that most of them occur is that the perpetrator either gets scared or the people that they're demanding property from don't comply. We get mm. that sentiment, and you're right, but we have to go about it another way because you're not only putting your own life at risk, but the others that are around wow. you. Yeah.